Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Nube. Back again. This time I'm talking to ZEP holders. You will know that there was a court case uh, where the Helen Sussman Foundation took the Minister of Home Affairs to court seeking a declaratory order which will force the Minister of Home Affairs to implement the ruling of the court that was done in June whereby the ZEP was to be extended to the 30th of June 2024 and you will remember that we came back here and we reported about that and we also told you that although the minister has not made uh, a statement officially to declare the 30th of June 2024 as the date on which the ZEP is going to expire he had however uh, secretly informed some institutions including certain banks that the permit indeed had been extended and was set to expire on the 30th of june 2024 so the helen susman foundation took the minister to court seeking an order that would force him to uh officially announce that the zep would expire in june 2024 that is the 30th of june that uh, matter was dismissed by the court which said there was no need for such uh, a statement to be done or such a move to be made by the minister so it means effectively that notwithstanding the minister's uh, appeal at the supreme court of appeal where he's going uh, the zep has been indeed extended to the 30th of june 2024 mainly because uh other than the court case uh this the home affairs department has failed to meet the requirements for zep holders to have uh, already transited from the zep or migrated from the zep to the mainstream south african permit we're talking here about people who applied for waivers not having been granted those waivers some of them have been on the waiting list for about two years having applied in 2021 so they are still waiting for those and those who have applied for waivers and have been granted the waivers have applied some of them for the respective permits for which they believe they qualify but still they have not yet been granted those their outcomes are still outstanding and there are still people who are applying for waivers uh as of now so it means that in the next month or so the minister would not have managed to sign off all waivers and the adjudication process would still not have been completed and it takes around uh, uh four to seven months for the waivers to be adjudicated so it can take four to seven months for the waiver to be adjudicated notwithstanding the fact that there are several other applicants for other types of permits all at home affairs and there are also south africans who are applying for other documents as well as asylum seekers and refugees applying uh, at home affairs so it means therefore that uh the minister of home affairs would not be able or let me say the department of home affairs would not would not have been able to adjudicate all the applications for waivers by the end of december 2023 so as it stands the zep is going to be extended but i'm going to also emphasize that the minister has a message to zimbabweans where he says this uh recent loss in court by the helen Sussman foundation serves as a wake-up call to all the affected zimbabwean nationals to follow the procedures outlined by the minister to regularize their stay in the republic and forget about false promises so what he's saying here is that regardless of when the zep is going to expire zimbabweans must take this opportunity to apply for waivers to apply those who have uh, already acquired the waivers to apply for the permits they mustn't continue to dilly dally because at the end of the day he is 
still in charge of this whole process. So I'm going to read uh, the whole. Uh, it's just four sentences that he wrote in his statement after the latest court case. He says, uh, the statement says, press statement on the full court judgment on the enforcement application brought by Helen Sussman Foundation. The Minister of Home Affairs wholeheartedly welcomes the full court judgment by the Houghton Division in Pretoria on the enforcement application in the Helen Sussman Foundation versus Minister of Home Affairs and another ZEP matter dismissing the ill-conceived enforcement application brought by Helen Sussman Foundation joined by the Consortium for Refugees and Migrants in South Africa, COMSA. The HSF adopted an opportunistic approach of seeking 50% personal cost order against the minister. This was too dismissed by the full court. HSF has been launching applications in court against the minister in the so-called public interest. The question is, whose public interest is HSF and his fellow travelers serving? In essence, HSF and COMSA sought the judgment whereby the court will issue an order to compel the department to implement the adverse judgment regardless of any subsequent appeal by the minister in any court. This judgment must serve as a wake-up call to the affected Zimbabwe nationals to follow the procedures outlined by the minister to regularize their stay in the republic and forget about false promises. The full court correctly dismissed the suggestion that there would be calamities in the event the enforcement order is not granted. These looming calamities and catastrophes only exist in the minds of HSF and COMSA. They now approached court asking for more than they sought in the main application. The court was justified in dismissing the application. The minister would like to make use of this opportunity to announce that cabinet has approved the white paper on citizenship, immigration and refugee protection towards a complete overhaul of the migration system in South Africa. The white paper will be published in the government gazette for public comments in Jokos. So the minister is essentially saying people must continue to apply for waivers and permits and forget about being granted the permanent residence permit as was sought by other applicants besides uh, because the Helen Susman Foundation did not seek uh, any permanent residence for ZEP holders but they sought uh, a court order declaring the cancellation of the ZEP as invalid and constitutional and uh, unlawful especially because they had in their argument been no time enough not enough time for zep holders to move to the next permit or to prepare for the phasing out of the zep and also there had been no consultation with zep holders and those that uh, other stakeholders that are involved in this case. So this is what we had. Continue to apply for waivers. If you have been dilly darling, thinking that you are going to get permanent residence permit, just stop thinking about that and apply for the ZEP. I mean, for the waivers and the permits that you seek to migrate to. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share.